Why? It's difficult. The ego, yes, the ego is more powerful. Where does the ego get its support from? From who? From shaitan. The ego gets its support from shaitan. When there's no shaitan, the ego is already powerless, crippled. Then for you to just knock your ego a little bit, it becomes even more controllable. You understand? In the month of Ramadan. Ego may have been trained by shaitan, but the trainer has left. Now is you. And not only you, it's a holy month. It's a month of Rahmat. It's a month of Barakat. The angels are descending. Evliya Allah are always there. You're in the company of believers. Everything is just knocking, 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 knocking your ego down. Because the ego's life support is not there. What is the ego's life support? Shaitan. But now, the life support is, is there. Which is why, to fast six days in the month of Shawwal, you get a very, very, very high reward. Because... The Prophet ﷺ knows how difficult it is to fast just six days as opposed to fasting 30 days in the month of Ramadan. You understand? To fast six days is more difficult. Because the shaitan is there, especially the sunnah. It's so difficult for us to do these days. The sunnah is to fast directly the day after eat continuously for six days. Uh, it is good, but if you are visiting or you have visitors coming in, da da da, this is a little bit difficult also. But fast during this month of Shawwal. That to fast in the month of this Shawwal for six days, just six days, it is as if you have fasted for the whole year. You get the same rewards as if you fasted for the whole year. So, yes, it is a little bit more difficult because Shaitan and shaitanic people, they're getting more energy. But more that you are fighting against it, more that you are awake, the higher station you get. More blessings you're going to get, more understanding, more opening. In some ways, you may even have more openings than you did in the month of Ramadan. Because you're understanding a little bit more about what? About shaitan. In the month of Ramadan, you're understanding more about ego. Now you're saying, oh, this is shaitan. Then more and more you understand a little bit, oh, this is dunya. It's different. Oh, this is my desire. They are different. We don't want to give lessons on different categories. What are the subtle differences? Specific differences. Where is my specific guy? Not here. He's working. Specific differences. No. Not really necessary. You understand? But you will know as you go along. As you experience, you are going to understand a little bit more. Which is why in this month, Shaitan is going to, of course, go and renew your wudu. Shaitan is going to be working harder to derail us. Why is that? Because in 70 days, less than 70 days, we're going to have the Eid al-Adha, the Qurban Bayram, the Eid of the Sacrifice. And Eid of Sacrifice is in reality much bigger than Ramadan, it's much holier. It is to mark the completion of the Hajj, completion of our fifth pillar, the completion of our purpose in this world, which is for what? Inna salati wa nuhsuki wa mahiyaya wa mamat lillahi rabbil alameen. Everything, our prayers, our ibadat, our life and our death is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the Hajj, when you wear the Ihram, it is a practice for you to say, I've, I'm dead from this world. Not only your nafs in the month of Ramadan, not only the shaitan, 
from dunya and from yahawa i'm dead i'm wearing the ihram i'm wearing the funeral shroud this is my funeral this is what i'm going to wear in the field of mahshar on judgment day to meet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i have nothing on me and nothing with me so now if we start to think a little bit more about hajj start to think a little bit more about what is his sacrifice again don't take that day of course people are taking the hajj to be completely just a celebration without any meaning whether it is in the haramain or here just an occasion to eat meat which people are eating meat every day anyway that there is no connection even to see the animal being sacrificed and losing its life for you that we are making that promise just as that animal is being obedient and giving its life for us we are being obedient and giving our life for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that nothing is dearer in the sight of Allah on that day than to see that animal blood, sacrificial blood to be spilled not for Allah, Allah does not need it, it is for us there are so many secrets why that is necessary because shaitan, because the ego, because the dunya will always say we need more blood and more blood and more blood when that is not done properly they will find other sacrificial people to cut, you understand? so if we start to get a bit more busy with that, we will understand then shaitan will find it more difficult to come close to us then we take the lessons from Ramazan and we were to move forward, not just to stay, not just to say, oh, I wish it was Ramazan, I wish I confess, I wish... No, move on. What is after Ramazan? Like I said yesterday, what is after Ramazan? It is Kurban Bayram. Be ready for that. You don't have three months, you have less than two months. Be ready for that. After Kurban, what do you have? You have Muharram, the new year and Ashura, the holiest times now so be ready for that, the new year is coming after Ashura, what do you have? Mevlut the Prophet ﷺ's birthday, be prepared for that now then after that, Rajab, Shaban, Ramadan, it continues Muslims are busy with what? Christmas after Christmas, New Year, after New Year, Valentine's Day, correct? After Valentine's Day is what? Uh, Valentine's Day, Easter. After Easter is what? Huh? Leprechaun, Leprechaun Day. <laughs> <laughs> huh, they even know specifically. No, Leprechaun Day before Easter, after Easter. That I don't know all these things. But President's Day, uh, Mattress Sale Day, uh, uh, then it goes on, 4th of July, after that Halloween, after Halloween, you understand? There is a calendar to disbelief, there is a calendar to consumerism, there is a calendar to capitalism, there is a calendar of your desires, there is a calendar of this dunya, there is a divine calendar also. Be busy with the divine calendar. Then that time you can really make progress. People say, oh remember last Leprechaun Day, I did this, did this, did this instead of putting that as a marker, you're going to put a holy day as a marker then that's the time you're going to move on, you're going to say, okay, Ramazan is done now Kurban, now I have to get ready, I have to clean myself a little bit I have to prepare myself for Hajj, that is the meaning whether we're going to be there physically or not, you're going to make the intention now, right after Eid I'm making the intention to go to Hajj and from now on it's as if I'm going to get a ticket, I'm going to go to Hajj I'm going to prepare, I'm going to watch myself, I'm going to clean myself up, why? because Muslims today, they think preparation to go to the Hajj is just to get a ticket to get the best package deal to make sure you get your biryanis and your koftas uh, in the Arafat to make sure you have air conditioned things that is their preparation for Hajj, that is not preparation for Hajj that is just for your nafs you're going to the house of Allah Allah is not going to look He's going to look here you're going into the presence of the Holy Prophet have you prepared yourself for that? 
Whether we're going there physically or not, the believer makes intention every year that he is there. That time you're not going to miss from the blessings of that. Then Muharram, then Ashura, then it continues. You understand? So, you think we know this and Shaitan does not know this? Of course, Shaitan knows this. And Shaitan now, you say, okay, Hajj, Hajj is coming. Hajj is coming. Now I have to trick them with something that is against the Hajj. I have to give them something else to make them to be busy with. You must fight against that, inshallah. We are trying to be believers. This is what we're trying to do. This is the way that the Prophet ﷺ has shown us. If you want to connect yourself to any other lifestyle, everyone is free to do as they like. But no one is free, not you, not me. No one is free from the consequences of those actions. May Allah forgive me and bless you, inshallah, Rahman. Al-Fatiha.